In this lesson, we're going to talk about blood urea, nitrogen, or BUN. When we talk about BUN or the blood urea nitrogen, we're looking in a lab that is primarily directed at the kidneys. And the normal value for BUN is going to be 7 to 20 milligrams per deciliter. Let's talk about how we get this value. So as we eat food, we take in protein via the GI tract. And that protein is converted to an amino acid or several amino, mass, amino acids. And then those are further converted into ammonia. And then the ammonia is then uh, sent to the liver and it's converted to urea. And then the urea is then sent to the kidneys, not the kidneys, down the ureter, into the bladder, and out to the body. So what happens if you have a breakdown in this process? So let's go to the last thing that we talked about. So we know that the liver's working, so the ammonia gets converted to the urea. Well, you're gonna have this elevation in the urea, and the way we detect this on labs are through the, through the um, blood urea nitrogen test for the BUN. So if you have an elevation in this BUN, it's gonna be indicative that there's a problem primarily in the kidneys. There are some other reasons as to why that's gonna, why that's gonna happen. We'll talk about that in a minute. But let's recap on the patho. So you got protein, converted into amino acids, converted into ammonia in the liver. This happens in the liver. This happens in the GI tract. And then that ammonia is converted into BUN and excreted in the kidneys, or through the kidneys, I should say, and out the body. So if you have this value that goes up, expect that there is, we need to look at the kidneys as being a primarily a primary problem for that. And when we send the lab off, we're going to send it in a green top tube or with your other chemistries. It's a really common lab that's in your Chem 7 or your uh, or your Chem 10 or your uh, basic metabolic panel. It's also going to be involved in your renal panels and also in your comprehensive metabolic panel. And that's going to give us more in-depth information as to what's going on with their patient. And let's say we get our labs back and that, that BUN is abnormal. Let's say it's elevated. Well, if it's elevated, we're going to look to the kidneys. We're going to make sure that those kidneys are working properly. So if they're not, we can expect some sort of kidney failure or kidney disease. Uh, you're also going to see it uh, in uh, situations of congestive heart failure or even um, or cardio infarction, so heart attack. You're also going to see it very commonly in patients that are dehydrated. Uh, so that's going to cause your, their slight increases uh, in those BUN levels. If you have some sort of urinary obstruction or even patients that are diabetic, they can have increases in their uh, BUN. You're going to see decreased uh, values of uh, the BUN in patients that have uh, liver failure. So if they're not appropriately converting or properly converting that, that ammonia to the urea, you're not going to have as much urea production. Therefore, you're going to have decreased uh, values of, of, the, of the BUN. Also, overhydration is going to keep that BUN down. Uh, patients that are, are malnutritioned or not getting enough protein into intake in their diet, they're going to have levels of uh, low nitrogen. Uh, also, patients that are pregnant, that's going to be a cause for decreased BUN values as well. When we're talking about the blood urea nitrogen or the BUN, we're focusing on those lab values and elimination because the BUN is really associated with the kidneys. So let's recap. The normal values for BUN are going to be 70 to 20 milligrams per deciliter. They're an evaluation of the kidneys because kidneys filter out the urea. You're going to have increased levels of the BUN. Um, if you have that, you're going to have, you're going to suspect maybe a kidney issue. If you have decreased the values of BUN, think liver uh, failure because of the conversion of ammonia to the urea or patients that are overhydrated. It is an essential renal value. It's going to be included in all your panels when they're talking about kidney function. So that's it for our lesson on BUN. Make sure you check out all the resources attached to this lesson. Now go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing.